Everyone's screaming tech is dead while the World Economic Forum just released research showing that AI will create 170 new jobs by 2030, but someone that somehow that's not making headlines. So MIT economists found that 60% of jobs today that people do didn't even exist in 1940, proving that technology creates more opportunities than it destroys. So while social media melts down about AI stealing jobs, AI tools are making software engineers 26% more productive, making them more valuable, not less. So why is every Everyone convinced that tech careers are over. Who benefits from keeping you scared? And here's the real question. While everyone's panicking and giving up, are you missing the biggest tech opportunity since the internet boom? Let's dive in today. Welcome to Startup Hack. I'm Spencer, and here at Startup Hack, we love to train software developers and build custom software solutions for companies. With a decade of executive leadership as a fractional CTO and 25 years in software development, I've mastered transforming tech teams and products. So the panic about being dead, about tech being dead, reminds me of every other tech cycle that I've lived through. So the headlines scream doom, but the data tells a completely different story. While everyone's running around scared, smart developers are positioning themselves for the next boom. And trust me, the research proves that this is going to be bigger than most people realize. So the World Economic Forum uh, Forum's future for jobs reports of 2025 forecast that by 2030, AI will increase 170 million new roles worldwide while making 92 million jobs existing redundant. So that's a net gain of 78 million jobs globally, the largest job creation event in modern history driven by a single technology. So the research draws at data from over a thousand companies across 22 industries and 55 economies, representing more than 40 14 million workers. Technology trends in AI and information processing are projecting to create 11 million jobs while simultaneously displacing 9 million others. So that means the fastest growing jobs aren't just in tech. They're actually including delivery drivers, care roles, educators, and farm workers alongside AI specialists. So this isn't speculation. It's the most comprehensive analysis of AI's employment impact ever conducted by a global business leader. So MIT economist David R. Otter's landmark research found that about 60% of jobs people do today didn't even exist in 1940. Now this proves that technology consistently creates new work and those who uh, don't study history repeat it. But his study spans eight decades of US census data showing that most current employment is in job specialties that uh, introduced after 1940. So research demonstrates that innovative uh, innovation creates jobs by increasing increasing worker productivity, augmenting human capabilities, and expanding potential for new tasks. So from 1940 to 1980, technology created middle-class manufacturing and clerical jobs. Since 1980, it's created high-skilled professional work and service jobs. So Otter's data shows that employees with college experience are 25% more likely to, to be working in occupations that didn't exist decades ago. So after a long time in software development, I've watched the pattern repeat. Every major technology shift creates entirely new job categories that didn't exist before. Now, research from the Tony Blair Institute suggests that AI-enabled job matching could rise employment by over 4%, equivalent to around 130,000 people more in work. Now, their study found that the generative AI trends boost the productivity of lower skilled workers more than higher performing peers, helping them to catch up. So specific research shows novice customer service agents can use generative AI to achieve a 34% productivity boost compared to 14% for experienced agents. So AI is following the same pattern as previous digital technologies. Online recruitment in Norway led to 9% shorter vac vacancy times and 13% unsuccessful hiring attempts. So the research demonstrates that AI com complements human labor rather than replacing it. This data confirms what I've been seeing at my companies. The biggest gains come from enhancing c human capabilities, not replacing them. I like Andrew Car uh, Andre Karpisky's uh, analogy here, right? This is not building robots. This is building Iron Man, right? Now, if your company has systems that aren't connected, let us help out, help you out. Because here at Startup Pack, our specialty is connecting systems to help your company work to maximum efficiency. So check out Startup Pack. Com Spencer. Now, Goldman Sachs predicts that AI will boost global GDP by 7%, and their research indicates that the transformative potential of generative AI could boost global GDP by 7% and significantly enhance productivity growth. Now, one of the things that uh, Satya Nadala of Microsoft said is he said he's waiting to see it move even 1%. So this is an interesting prediction by Glo Goldman Sachs. Their analyst shows that while AI could replace equivalent to a lot of jobs, it also will create a ton of new opportunities and drive, drive economic expansion. The productivity gains from 
AI consistently lead to improvements in employment and wages as businesses become more efficient and expand operations. So as businesses become more efficient, they're going to expand operations. Historical data shows that when companies increase productivity through technology, they create more jobs overall rather than just eliminating them permanently. Now, I know a lot of people are calling out to the latest uh, layoffs that we've been seeing. But remember, a lot of this is still glut that we saw from from the COVID overhiring. So the report that from uh, from Goldman Sachs notes that 46% of tasks in, administ in administrative and 44% in legal professionals could be automated, but this creates demand for higher level strategic work. So I've learned that productivity improvements always lead to business growth, which it creates demand for skilled workers. So a 2024 study utilizing 3,600 full-time workers found that contrary to mainstream assumptions, AI has potential has a potential complementary effect on job tasks. So the research demonstrates that AI can enhance and support human labor rather than replace it. Sector-wise analysis shows that entry-level employees perceive the risk from AI while the technology actually helps them become more competitive. Workers with frequent internet usage and remote work capabilities are finding AI tools enhance their productivity rather than threatening their position. Now, I, are, I am seeing a lot of CEOs trying to weaponize this and trying to make it that thing that's hovering over humans that they have to work harder, work harder, work harder, or else AI is going to replace them. But this research confirms that AI replacement narrative is based on fear rather than data. The actual evidence shows complementary effects. So every major technology shift creates a panic about job displacement, followed by massive job creation in entirely new categories. The, the web was supposed to eliminate graphic designers. Instead, it created millions of web designer jobs that didn't exist before. Mobile development was going to kill desktop programming. Instead, it doubled the market and created completely new specializations. Cloud computing was supposed to eliminate system administrators, but it created all of the new DevOps, cloud architecture, and infrastructure automation roles. AI is following the exact same patterns, eliminating repetitive tasks while creating demand for AI integration specialists and system architects. The people who adapt early to new technology paradigms consistently outperform those who resist change. So just like every previous tech revolution. So there's a massive difference between playing with ChatGPT and implementing AI solutions that meet enterprise security, compliance, and reliability requirements. And who do you think is going to connect all these systems into AI? Who's going to take these old uh, archaic systems and connect them with AI? They're not going to connect themselves. That's where tech and software development is going to be needed. Companies de need developers who understand data privacy, model fine tuning, vector databases, and production AI deployments, not just prompt writing. So this is a huge opportunity. Building AI systems that integrate with existing enterprise architecture requires deep understanding of both traditional and modern technology stacks. Most AI demos fall apart when confronted with real world, world requirements like regulatory compliance, data governance, and system reliability. So this complexity is creating a premium opportunity for developers who can navigate both traditional software engineering and AI implementation. The gap between I can ask ChatGPT to write code and I can build scalable AI powered systems is enormous and it's growing every day. And if you need help with it, reach out to us because here at Startup Pack, we're building a lot of AI agents that are integrating AI into existing systems. Check out startuppack.com slash Spencer because we can help you build yours today. So instead of replacing developers, successful companies are using AI to multiply the productivity of existing developers by 26% or more. Now, if you're going to listen to, uh, you know, like the CEO of Salesforce and believe that 50% of his company is being run by AI, then enjoy the, the snow job because guess what? Like he's totally blowing smoke. First of all, he's using it as a smoke screen to offshore employees. Second of all, if you really think a Salesforce is five times as good as software development as Google at engineering as Google, think again. So you've got to definitely be make sure you're listening to who these sources are that you're listening to that AI is going to replace everybody. AI is replacing the mundane, repetitive coding tasks that nobody enjoys and are perfect for candidates for AI assistance. The productivity gain isn't about working longer hours. It's about spending time on interesting challenges that require human insights. Companies that embrace this multiplication model are outcompeting those trying to simply cost cut through replacement strategies. So let me say that a little differently. There's going to be those companies that are going to try to reduce engineering because they're saying, oh, well, engineers are more effective. We need less of them. And then there's those who are going to say, awesome. This means my developers can do more. 
and that one on, that I just talked about, the second one, is the one that's going to win. Now, the other part shows that research consistently shows that junior developers benefit the most from AI tools because they accept suggestions and adapt quickly to new workflows. Old guys like me don't like something telling them what to do, right? And this, you know this is to be true. But juniors learn faster with AI assistance and contribute meaningfully to projects much sooner than traditional training methods allow. Senior developers often resist AI tools or use them ineffectively because they conflict with established habits and preferences. The mentorship model is totally shifting. Instead of traditional two to three year roadmap, AI assisted junior developers are becoming productive in a year less than instead of two to three years. This is part of the reason why we're personally here at Startup Pack investing into registered apprentice programs. We just onboarded two new registered apprentices today. We're really excited about this, where we're taking these who know almost nothing about software development and training them up into a software development program and getting them to work with clients. We're very excited about this. Now, modern development developers need traditional programming skills plus AI integration capabilities to stay competitive in this market. Understanding how to debug AI generated code, optimize AI prompts, and integrate AI APIs into production systems is going to become essential. I love when everybody keeps saying that AI is gonna take over jobs. Who do they think is going to integrate this AI into their existing systems? I know I've had a lot of um, mainframe developers comment on my thing who said mainframe servers were going to take away from mainframes and mainframe developers are actually in serious demand right now. The most valuable developers are those who can quickly evaluate AI suggestions, modify them for specific requirements, and maintain AI enhanced code bases while still trying to integrate into their existing legacy systems. Data engineer skills are exploding in demand as companies realize that AI success depends more on data quality than on model sophistication. Version control for AI models, testing AI system outputs, and monitoring AI performance in production are entirely new skill categories. Developers who master this hybrid skill are going to command a premium, so now is a great time to get in on the ground floor of development. While everyone else is retreating from tech careers, supply and demand economics are working in favor of skilled developers. The World Economic Forum data shows that we're entering the largest job creation event in modern history, driven by AI and related technologies. So if you're believing the high headlines that are saying AI is taking jobs, you need to read past the headlines and look in a little bit more. Venture capital is pouring billions into AI startups. They need experienced developers who understand both traditional software engineering and AI integrations. The companies that survive and thrive in this AI era will be those who develop uh, with development teams that can build reliable, scalable, AI enhanced products. History has showed that the best time to enter or advance in a technology field is during the panic when everyone else is giving up. So in my time in software development, I've never seen research that so clearly demonstrates the massive opportunity for developers who are willing to learn and adapt right now. Now, what are your thoughts? Do you agree? Do you disagree? I'd love to have a great conversation, answer all the comments myself. So make sure you leave a comment down, down below and make sure to like and subscribe. Here at Startup Pack, we love to train software developers, which we're doing right now through our registered apprentice program, as well as through our coding boot camps, as, and also to build custom software solutions for companies. And here's some great information about some of our services. Hi, I'm Spencer. Fractional CTO. With over a decade of executive leadership and 25 years in software development, I've transformed technology teams and products for businesses just like yours. As your Fractional CTO, you get the strategic guidance of a seasoned technology executive without the full-time commitment. Perfect for companies ready to leverage cutting edge technology without expanding headcount. My team at Startup Hack has already built advanced AI agents for small and medium businesses, automating complex workflows and delivering advanced ROI to human workflows. We specialize in creating custom software that connects your systems into a single coherent technology ecosystem. Our development approach focuses on tangible business outcomes. For one client, we developed AI powered workflows that cut days off of human processes. For another company, by connecting multiple systems, we reduce processing time to increase their ROI by over 75%. We don't don't just write code, we architect solutions that scale. Whether you need cloud system architecture, data integration between legacy systems, or custom AI agents that automate your unique business processes, my team delivers results that exceed your expectations. Having led technology for a lot of companies and launched seven successful brands of my own, I bring battle-tested expertise to your business challenges. Our specialty is turning technological complexity into business advantage. So if you're ready to harness the power of AI and custom software to drive your business forward, let's connect Together, we'll build technology that doesn't just solve today's problems, it positions you for tomorrow's opportunities. Technology leadership, decades of experience, AI powered. Reach out today and we can help you. Check out startuppack.com Spencer.